So here I am inside Salesforce and I'm looking at a cases report. But notice that this report contains personal information like email addresses. And what I worry about from a security perspective is someone exporting a report like this, a report that contains thousands of email addresses into a file that could be distributed outside our company. So here's the question, how do I create security policies that react in real time to potential threats like this? Well, to answer that question, I'm going to move over to the Salesforce setup menu and use a tool called Transaction Security. Now this tool allows me to create security policies that subscribe to real-time Salesforce events. And in most cases, these policies can be created with just clicks using Condition Builder, although there are occasionally some advanced scenarios that require Apex code. And what I'd like to do is show you a policy I built with just clicks to prevent large report exports. This policy works by subscribing to report events. It then checks to see if a report is being exported. And if that export contains more than 100 records, what we want to do is block this action and then send an in-app notification. So let's go see this security policy in action. So here I am back on that report. But watch what happens when I attempt to export this report as an Excel file. Notice the action is blocked. And if I return to the report, I'll see that I also received a notification telling me it was blocked. Now this is just one example of how transaction security helps me protect our data. But let's take this one step further. So what you're looking at here are the data definitions for cases. And these are all the fields I've defined for cases. But notice that one of those fields is for social security numbers. Now I have flagged this field as confidential. And what I'd like to do is create a security policy that prohibits fields like this from ever appearing on a report. So how do I do that? Well, let's return to transaction security. Now, unlike that last example, which I built just with clicks, this scenario required me to write a bit of Apex code. Now this code detects if a confidential field is being used. And if a confidential field is being used in a report, this policy is going to block that action. And what that means is if I return to the cases report and then edit this report and attempt to add a social security number to it, you'll see this entire action gets prevented and our confidential customer data is protected. So this is how transaction security helps me create security policies that react in real time to potential threats.